the last part because I don't want to be long. The Bible says in verse 8, verse 8, the Bible says, again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Now the devil expressed his will really. At the beginning, it seems like, oh, I love you, Jesus. I don't want to see you hungry, so I need you to eat bread. The second time, I know you got angels to protect you. Though I would, I would, I would like to see if it's real that you have angels ready to protect you. But now he expressed his will. Bow down and worship me. All to worship you. All to just do what I ask you to do and you worship. Now, Satan expressed clearly his mind and Jesus answered on verse 10, away from me, Satan, for it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. Amen? Amen. My brothers and sisters, oh my God, Jesus wants you to serve him and him alone. We just sing the song. I don't remember exactly. Only you deserve our praise. Only you deserve our song. Only you. We, if, if you sing it, if you say it, mean what you sing, mean what you say, do it. Do it. And the name of the Lord will be praised. Because God wants you to be his and he's alone. God wants you to worship him and worship him alone. My young people, I'm talking to you right now. I know you are watching TV. I know, I know uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. You got so many things that you are watching every single day. And I know for you it's nothing because you got so many people doing it. We got so many people doing it. I can do it too. But listen, you are not anyone. You are a servant of the Lord. You are <laughs> hallelujah. You have been purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. That means you cost so much at the eye of God, you cannot do what other people do. It was not why God asked you to separate yourself from them. Ecclesia, you are church. That means you cannot act like them. They can do it. Sometimes, let me, let, let me give you another example. We got some t-shirt designed to worship the devil. Listen, you may not understand the meaning of what you got written on your t-shirt. You may not even know what it is. If you wear it, you do it, the devil is happy. Because only one thing, just do it. I don't need you to understand. I don't need you to mean it. I don't need you to put your heart in it. I don't need you to put your mind in it. Just do it. You and I, we need to question everything we are doing. And sometimes people may not understand you. It's your business, but just to please God. But sometimes people may not may, may be against you. Sometimes they treat you like you were crazy. It's nothing, but I want to please God. Sometimes they may say, uh, 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 you are old school. You, for, you come from a little country, very low civilization. They treat you all bad words, but it's nothing. You want to please God. I don't want the name of the devil to be glorified in my way of living. In my saying, in my doing, in my anything, I don't want his name to be glorified. Look, serving God is not only coming to church. Serving God is not only singing. Serving God is not to be pastor, to be a deacon. No, serving God is to please God. Do what God wants you to do. And stay away from all the devil wants you to do. Amen, 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 amen. Let me say it again. Serving God is do all God wants you to do. Put your heart in it. Put your mind in it. Try to understand it. See, keep your focus on it. And serving devil, it just do what he asks you to do. Now you need to choose who you want to worship, whom you want to give your glory to. Devil or God. 
if you are to serve God right now. 